Welcome back. In the previous section, we learned about how we retrieve data from the database. For example, we may be interested in knowing some of the sample data in the locations table. Shall I first describe the table? Because we don't know the columns which are there. And we need to get the specific columns we need. We may decide to take on the street address and the city on this table called locations. And you can see that we have a list of suite addresses and the city where those suite addresses are. But the problem is the records are not returned in any order. For example, if I need cities to be in ascending order or descending order, or the suite addresses to be in ascending order or descending order, I may be interested in Beijing being the first, followed by Bombay, then Bern. In such a situation, we sort data and we use the keyword called order by. In SQL, we can sort data either in ascending order or descending order, depending on what we want. We use the order by keyword followed by the column we want to base on for sorting. For example, we may be interested in employee records, but these records should be returned in ascending order based on the first name or based on salary from the highest salary to the lowest salary. With that in mind, we use the order by keyword. In Oracle, by default, results are sorted in ascending order. The moment we specify the order by keyword, when sorting for data, we can use the column alias or column positions. Remember the column alias we talked about? The order by keyword must always come last in the select statement. In a select statement, the order by keyword comes last. We can also sort for nows. Nows means nothing. For example, you may be interested in a report where only those guys who don't earn anything are sorted alone could be sorted either at the start or at the end. Whoever doesn't earn anything should be brought first or should be brought last. Let's see this in action. When we come back to our last example, we need to organize these records in ascending order based on the city name. To do that, we shall modify our previous query. Order by comes last in the select statement. So immediately after the table name, we put order by city, which is the column we want to base on to sort these results. Then ascending. Ascending is written as AFC. So we write the keyword order by, followed by the column we want to base on for sorting. Then which kind of sorting do we want? either ascending or descending. For ascending, it is ASC. So when you run this, you can see that results are now in ascending order based on the city. But what if we want this to be in descending order? What do we do? We just change the order. So from ascending to descending. Descending is DESC. It stands for descending. Results are now sorted in descending order from White House to Bombay. Let's get some records from other tables. You may decide to have first name, last name, and the salary from my employees. You can see that results and in no order. Now we need to organize these records in ascending order based on salary and who earned the highest to the least earner. To do that, we shall use salary as our basis for sorting. Order by, we shall use the salary since it has the records for salary. And we shall specify the order ascending. And run this, you can see that records are now 
organized in ascending from the lowest earner to the highest earner. Olson is earning the least. I don't know which kind of job he does. But when you scroll down, looking for the highest earner, it's Stephen King. And what if he needs Stephen King to be at the top, then to the lowest earner? We shall just change the order from ascending to descending. And see that now, also in the last, Stephen King is at the top. May also decide to sort results using column alias. For example, we are going to rename this last name. Remember column alias. So you specify the column, followed by the as keyword. The, the column alias will be surname. Since it is one word, I don't have to put it in double quotes. Order by, I can decide to use surname, which is the column alias here. And it is optional to specify sorting order, whether ascending or descending. And the moment you don't specify the sorting order, results will be ordered in ascending order by default. Let's try this. Order by surname. I haven't specified the sorting order. That results are organized in ascending order using the surname for my bell, then the name starting with the letter B, then C, up to the last person. Results are by default sorted in ascending order if we don't specify the order. You can use the column alias rather than the column name in sorting. We can decide to use the column positions rather than column names or column alias. With column positions, we count the number of columns in the select clause. For example, first name is a column, second name is a column, then salary is also a column. Surname is not a column, it is just a column alias for the last name. So it's not an individual column. So we have three columns. The first name, this one is the second column, and then the third column is salary. We may decide to use column positions. For example, we could say from employees order by one. When I say one, I mean that column in the first position. And when I look at my statement, the first name is in the first position. So the results will be sorted based on the first name since it is in the first position. Now run this. You can see that results have been organized in ascending order based on the first name. From Adam, then those guys, first name starts with letter B, then C and D, and here. So we can use column positions rather than column names or column alias to organize these records. We may decide to say organize by three, order by three. And when you say three, we mean that column in the third position, which is salary. When we run this, results have been sorted based on the amount of salary earned. We may also decide to sort for nothing values. Nothing values are termed as null values. We don't have any value. For example, in the employees table, there is a column called commission percentage. When you run this, you can see that some people don't earn a commission. And these ones don't earn any commission. When you scroll, some earn but some don't earn a commission. So these ones are called the null values. There is nothing in that field. We may need these people who earn commission to be at the top or at the bottom. Or we may need to start with those guys who don't earn anything and then those who earn a commission will, will come last. Or we may change the order when we want those who don't earn anything to be at the bottom then those who earn something to be at the top. To do that, we have something called the nows first and nows last. It is a keyword used whenever we are sorting for the null values. For example, we may 
modify our previous screening and you say order by three meaning the commission percentage since it is in the third column now first the null values have been returned first and I said now first the null values at the top and then those who earn something they are the last one this one is more better than the previous one where everything was mixed up we may decide that the co those who earn a commission should be at the top and then those who don't earn they are at the bottom to do that I just say now's last when I run this see that we begin with those who earn something and those who don't earn anything they come last but when you pay much attention remember results are sorted in ascending order that's why you're saying a dot one then dot 1.5 then a two these ones are in ascending order but if I need those who earn a commission percentage to be ordered in descending order as well those who earn a commission should be the first one but again we need their values to be in descending order from the highest honor to the lowest do that we need to specify the order before bringing in the nouns first or nouns last so I say order by then the column and then the sorting order then nouns first or nouns last come last so when you run you can see that we are beginning with those top honors up to the list honor so you can see this that the results have been sorted that is how we can sort for results in SQL either in ascending order or descending order we can use column positions or column alias or column names when we are sorting for results we use the order by keyword when we are sorting for results we can also sort for nothing values or the nows using the nows first or nows last in the next section we are going to look how do we filter for the retrieved data